So I want to do a quick update, talk about the JTS failures that I had in the last video, which I'm going to post this the same day. Of course, there was two times it wouldn't charge in the next shell. Uh, if you remember that, if you watched that video, it charged everything and then didn't, and then, you know, shot a few more rounds and didn't do it again. But then it worked after that. And I found out what the problem was. When I got home, I noticed there was a kind of <clears throat> clinking sound up here. And I'm like, what the hell is that? So right before I was about to take it apart, I looked at it and my gas adjustment knob was missing. And it was Loctited, of course. Uh, maybe not good enough. And at the end of this video, I will show you in slow motion when it fell out. So what happened at that time? The screw worked its way out. <clears throat> the screw worked its way out. And at the same time, the front retainer for my optic here fell out. So, and that's the excuse for that, why that happened. But this is just a cheap, cheap optic and it's just gonna go in the trash. So luckily it went back and I found this, found my piece. All I gotta do is buy a screw and that's it. Looks like it might be just a four millimeter screw. Let's stick this up for now. Took it all apart, cleaned it up, made sure everything was okay, everything was fine. And I really think if that wouldn't have fallen out, I wouldn't have had any problems feeding. I think it would have been fine. Uh, I was using good ammo, some good high brass stuff. You know, it was a four pellet buckshot. And I don't think I would have a problem. Uh, it just, every shot, the adjustment would just change and get screwy. So, I mean, in all honesty, the JTS, I think it is, in my opinion, a really, 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 for the price, between 400 and $600, it's a good gun to get or, and, you know, try out. I know some people don't like it. Some people have bad experiences with it. And uh, it's, for me, it's been good. After I changed out the ammo, I figured out that was a problem. After finding this piece and knowing that that was the problem, it was a Loctite issue, it wasn't a JTS issue. Uh, I really think you should probably get it uh, and try it out. But definitely, if you do have problems with it, uh, if there's something wrong with the machine or something like that, it has a lifetime warranty, use the warranty. Trust me on that. If you have a warranty, go through the hassle of dealing with it because I, I guarantee they're probably gonna go ahead and work with you, guarantee. If they don't, then, well, that sucks. I, don't know what to tell you, but as far as I can tell, they, they work with their customers very well. Uh, now, when it comes to the AR 12 that GTS makes, it's not, not really good. But my honest opinion, for the price, it's something worth getting. I really like it. And uh, that's really all I got. So right now, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you in slow motion when this exactly fell out. So, talk to you soon. <clears throat>